Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? themselves to believe anything with the latter. Idle minds, too lazy to think beyond the following of the herd. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition, an endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. All wind, no matter an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables, oh, never underestimate the human factor. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. <sighs> Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Care for the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the keys with me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit.
I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <sighs> okay, he doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <sighs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I can't do it. Sorry. It's more than my job's worth. So you're a good boy. Shame. <laughs> Didn't you ever steal a sweet from the sweet shop? Not sweets are expensive. I promise I will bring it back. Ah, uh, look, forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a two hundred thousand pound car out of here tonight, all right? What? No more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Now get over here. Drop it. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. Fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. You have to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. We need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. <sighs> what about him? Let's put a bullet in him. 
I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Yes, yeah, would have headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is it fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. Yeah, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr. Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my car. You better not fuck this up. Okay, let's get set. So, what's the plan? This is what's going to happen. I'll double up on Lee's position. And this guy, what's your name? Matt. Matt, sticks with Mei Ling. You take up the slack. Super. Okay, we need to get moving. We need to be at the auction house before nine. Put this on. You're joking. We'll find us again. <laughs> I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already? I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back? We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume we're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What in your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could see it that way. You know, maybe you've got a point about relieving some of these people of a sliver of their money. Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. 9.20. 9.20, thank you. I see you. 9.30, again to my Third left. left. 9.40, do I hear 9.40? 9.40, thank you, sir. Looking for 9.50. 9.50 to my left. Do I hear 9.60? Fair warning. I'm selling. 9.50 once, 9.50 twice. So, for 950,000 pounds, this marvelous 12th century cabinet with its Hidden compartment, which is 150 grand for its time. Just try to keep it powder dry. I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? And so we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Trent. Katie. 
What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three simply beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. of a red there. phoenix pattern Simon. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, but he can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five we get 20% on the sale Thank you, price, don't on we? The phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop man. bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. Christ I'm almighty. looking for nine five, ladies and gentlemen. Nine five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear ten? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break ten. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fault? Ten we mind? have. We are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. Ten is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear ten five? You are so getting lumbered with this. Ten five. Ten five I have. Thank you. Now do I hear eleven? Eleven I have with the lady. I'm gonna Again, have a heart attack. Eleven, it's your, assistant, 11, it's your bid, man. Yeah, gut feeling. Eleven, okay, so because you know price. We have eleven five. Logarithmic curve. Derivative eleven five zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid. bid. At eleven, madam. Well, it's eleven five. Half percent. Trust me. Eleven five. Eleven five I have. Thank you very much, sir. Eleven There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, bid. It's against you, sir. Eleven five. Eleven five with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. 12 million I have. Thank you, madam. 12 it is. So do I hear 12.5? 12.5 I'm looking for. 12.5. It's your bid at 12, madam. Looking for 12.5. 12.5. 12, 5. 12.5 I have to my right. Thank you, sir. 12.5. So do I hear 13? Against you now, madam. 12.5. Are we all out? At 12.5. Fair warning. I'm selling. 12.5 once. 12.5 twice. So, to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. You see, the wall doesn't turn on mathematics, you know. Yeah, well, mine does. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my bloody problem. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. We're a couple, remember? So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here?
below me. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, freeze the guard's image. He's not gonna believe that. I'll handle that. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. Alert the guards, we'll let this play out. I might not get another chance. Okay, Matt, go. Stop right there, sir. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor was staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Gentlemen, we are back in society. Have 
Let me see it. I want to see the box. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Woo's place and turns into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. Some sort of high street. Hong Kong City restaurant. This sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop. Whoa, hold on. Not here. Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. Jeffrey, you're not serious. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mailing. Mailing, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. Right? Fuck. Come on. to Woos to finish what you started. It's Mr. Woos. Yeah, but well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Look at me. Look at me. You can't not decide, OK? You have to do something. Oh, look. Come the fuck on, okay? We've got to go. Welcome to Hong Kong City. We're here to see someone. Table for four. Four of me, please. Excuse me. We are. Uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Far this way. Four of me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. You're not even eating. No. Your health inspector? No. Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. I've never heard of Mr. Wu. How about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory clearing. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You? Right here. A fortune cookie.
Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better, so you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. Four on me, please. Tell me. No. Could they while you're gone, you yet to my goal? That's him. Go on. What's your business? Lozai, this is not a house. Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you a bow. My bow? Adam, turn by Asia over here. Oh, fuck. Managing to steal that bow. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place. It's nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that bowl is not only madness. It is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. It's price. It's beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! What should we do with it? If the choice catch you with it, you are dead. If you destroy it, you are dead. If you bring it back here, you are dead. Doesn't really answer my question now, does it? Not my problem. Atom! Go on, Cordae, Tohoi. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fucking great. I still want to know what fortune cookie said. Sure. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? <sighs> you fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against him and stole that damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. Okay. Okay, let's go.
Did you believe, were you? They knew nothing about the job. You looked convincing, didn't you? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. John, thank you. And good evening from M Channel News. I'm on the <sighs> Not adding much to this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the bath. Shit. What? There's no bath. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. Matt, slow down. 
I cannot believe you just did that. After everything we've been through tonight, you destroy the bowl just like that. Just stop, will you? When they find us, they're gonna fucking kill us. It's not that simple. Yeah, with you it never is. Just stop. I can explain. Inside. You destroyed the one thing that was keeping us alive. The one thing! Why would you do that? It's total madness, tell me why. Because it was a fake. Uh, uh, so what? The ball was fake. Then where's the real one? I don't know. Then how did you know it was a fake? Because I'm the one who watched it. Fuck. I'm sorry, Matt. I didn't know the implications. I was lying to you just like you. Fuck me. We can still get the real one back and trade it for our lives. But I need your help to get it. Please. You have to trust me. Trust you? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I hearing you right now? Okay. Okay, but these are my conditions. Firstly, you tell me everything you know. The whole story. And if I find out you've left out even the slightest detail, I am fucking gone. Secondly, from now on, we do things my way. Okay, I make the decisions and you agree with them. Agreed. Correct answer. Now start talking. I needed the money. Yeah, don't we all? Who paid you? Samuel Pa. Wait, the guy who was selling the bomb? He couldn't part with it, but he knew the choice would never let him keep it. So he had you forge a copy to sell to the choice? To keep for himself? He didn't believe that now, did he? I believe in the good in people. Oh, don't give me this bullshit! Where's the original now? I don't know. See, Paul must somehow be involved. But why the theft if you could just sell the copy? He couldn't just sell it. At the Hainsworth, they would have found out. Look, you can paint it perfect all you like, but you just can't fake these with porcelain. Dating is based on the effect of thermoluminescence. Luminescence? Yeah, it is a process to determine when the porcelain is fired. Like in a burning vehicle, you mean? What do you mean? I don't know. You tell me. Oh my god. If the forgery was retrieved from the van after the accident, it would have been indiscernible from the original. After the accident? It was no accident, was it? That must have been part of past plan. Come on, let's get out of here. Where are we going? To pause. He's gonna regret this. I won't let him get away with it. Beating up won't solve our problem. Well, it's a start. Matt. Matt, you're not serious. Stole it. 
It could be him. That's him. What's his number? Hang on. That's threatening. Hi, I'm I'm so sorry to call so late, but I'm trying to get hold of Sebastian. Is he home? It's Jane? No, from work. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, of course. I'll visit him first thing. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? He's in St. Thomas's hospital. How is he? He got beaten up, remember? Is he okay? Pretty serious concussion. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Jeff getting his kicks. As you can see. W weren't you supposed to be going out? The night somehow started badly. Yeah, well, things would have gotten way worse for you. Oh, don't stop. I'm sorry, but we are in a bit of a hurry, darling. Could you tell us which room Sebastian the clerk is in, please? Is he here? Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Oh, come on. It's just a room that... What, like it was just a key? Oh, come on. Good night. You're a popular man in this town. Look, this isn't about some entry ticket to some party, yeah? This is way bigger. What's so important that you need to see him now? He's my cousin. He's French. So? Good night. Come on, man. Let's try the other desk. Oh, fuck. Hi. Hello. Are we here to visit Sebastian the clock? Bear with me a second. Oh, no. No patient by that name. Sorry. Excuse me, but we were talking. Darling, darling, darling. If she says he's not here, he's not here. He must have misheard. She's always doing this. I do apologize. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? The seventh floor. I saw the reflection in the glasses. So, um, who was the girl? Oh, I know her from work. She works here? No, my work. Boyfriend parks his car there. I see. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Did you get the feeling they won't tell us anything up here either? Yeah, but we can't just wander in and out of all these rooms. Oh God, please. What are you doing?
you remember me, right? You you shouldn't be here. No, no. Listen to me. I'm a peaceful woman. I don't want to hurt you. But if you try that again, believe me, the bits of you that hurt already are going to get much worse. Do you understand me? Do we have an agreement? Uh, yes. Good. Now tell us about your deal with Samuel Paul. We know you replaced the force in Rice Bowl with a forgery. That's a lie. Do you want to discuss that with the police, mate? Perhaps have a little gander at the surveillance footage with them. <laughs> they have already seen the footage. Of the robbery, maybe. What about the footage of you after you left the main auction room? Of where? The elevator. There is no footage from there. Ah, but that's why you switched it, though, isn't it? And a camera must have seen you, even if you had your back to it. And if people know the truth, be clear to see what you were doing, mate. What do you want? What do you want from me? Where is the original? Does Paul have it? If, if I tell you, you have to promise me not to tell anyone about me. You're kidding. You're in this as deep as we are, mate. If you don't promise, I will tell you nothing. We'll see. Right, boy. Okay. It's you and me now, mate. Now, where is the fucking rice bowl? It's the last one I'm gonna ask you nicely. Okay. Okay. I swapped it. I swapped the original with the forgery, and I hid it. Hid it where? The cabinet. Pa's cabinet he bought in auction. There was a hidden compartment in it. There was a hidden compartment, right? Yes. Is that where it is? It's the bolster inside? I don't know when this is the truth. The security took everything after the robbery and put it in the safe storage. Safe storage? So it's still inside Hainsworth's? Yes. I have to go back to Ainsworth. Why the hell do we get inside? I don't know. But he does. Will this get us into the vault? If you get to it, we... What the fuck happened? We had her. You find the vault. Bring it to us. Who the fuck is this? Bring you to the lobby of our hotel by nine tomorrow morning. Or the girl dies. Hello. Oh shit.
Sorry, sir. I'll be with you in a moment. No rush. <clears throat> Long flight. How can I help you? I have a meeting with Mr. Quinn. Second floor, room 13. Great. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. Good day. Your colleague let me in. Who? Mr. Quinn. Mr. Quinn? Mr. Quinn, yeah. <sighs> Wait here. Going down? Yeah, thank you. Ground floor? Car park. You don't work here? Picking up. Mr. Quinn sent me down. Oh shit, do I look shifty? The car park's just too low key. Thank you. Kill you. I can't do that anyway. We need to prove to them that this was past plan right from the start. Uh, any suggestions? We need to get part of it. Salty. Salty now. Mei Ling. Fuck. What do I do? Do I risk going to Pa's house to get us both out of this? Or do I take it to the choice? 
Now's my chance. No, I can't leave her to die. How could I live with that? I just need some kind of plan. Chief Psycho. Good morning. I have an appointment with Samuel Paul. Oh, Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. Oh, he'll want to see me. And he'll want to see me right now. Wait here. Wait, you can't? Mr. Power? Uh, thank you, well, I... I'll deal with this. Who are you? I'm here to tell you that unfortunately Mr. Leclerc failed to carry out his task. What the hell are you talking about? The bomb that was taken from Hainsworth tonight was a real one. Audrey never left that compartment. Where is it? Where is it? This is... The copy. Don't think it'd be so stupid to come in here with a real one, do you? How did you find out? I think Mailing can recognise her own work when she sees it. We paid her to do it. So she won't mind me destroying it? Even with the choice still on the rampage. You think I'm worried about that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Then let's find out. That would be unwise, wouldn't it? Not with the choice on the rampage. Mm. Smart move. Now, where is my original? Mailing has it. What does she want? I don't know. Ask her. Mr. Pa? Clever little girl, aren't you? Not just a pretty face. How much? Half the selling price. 6.25 million. <sighs> I'd consider keeping the copy for that. Then I might consider telling the choice. You fucking little bitch. Don't get on your high horse, Samuel. You tried to kill us all in that car crash. And what about your bimbo? Bimbo? <laughs> he's going to watch you transfer the money into my bank account. Then he's going to walk out of there and bring you the original. Done. Now get me my original. Okay. My friend is going to fetch it for you right now. What the hell? Mate, he knows. Are you outside the house? Mate, get out of there now. This is the bomb that Pa tried to steal from you. This is yours. Nothing more to do with this, all right? Uh, just, just wait! Mailing, help me, please! What are you going to do with him? Discuss the nature of Chinese heritage. Ahead of a plan. What were the chances? 
the chances. That's what I say. Thank you.